What's happening, you beautiful folks out there in the worldwide area of existence? It's good to connect to you through even these internet wires and bring to you, you know, my weekly videos and uh, definitely share these and get the community out there. Um, I'm just building my archives because we're doing some incredible stuff that's going to bring a lot of awareness to a lot of people. And so uh, I'm not stressing over that these videos are going to hit the mainstream and roll right in and inspire a lot of people and keep people creating and connect us all that's that's the most important thing and so today i'm went in my archives deep and this is one of the first uh, uh bucket hats that i attempted and uh came out really great i learned some new techniques that i'm using now but um this is real interesting looking back on it and how i used graphite to get all of the original uh drawings on it uh, usually I use a ballpoint pen now, but if you want any step-by-step uh, -step instructions and inspiration uh, to take your visual painting and drawing uh, experience to the next level, head over to Skillshare.com and I Paint Creatures. Look down in my bio, there's links to it. Uh, have new NFT collections out there, go check those out, collect them all, and uh, basically just uh, bring everything back to uh, the I Paint Creatures world. World and uh, we have a lot of exciting things come forward uh, I'd like to announce that I'm uh, making Symphony 2 and uh, basically all of Symphony 1 is almost out of stock I might have to keep the last like 10 of them in the archives and uh, so uh, basically there's a few more if you want to get your uh, symphony book it's a 90 page book I put out uh, a couple years ago that has uh, all the it's a, like a, a primer for the story of Matsu and uh, this one is going to feature all the funky eye puppets and where I've gone with that and uh, we're a voice acting troupe that is a strong of 40 people and we're starting to move into animation and uh, the live puppetry and uh, getting our puppets made so definitely we're going to start being doing a lot of uh, crowdsourcing campaigns so get on out there and plug yourself in and, and uh, we're going to get on this fantastical journey that you know I've been so gifted that it's come to me and uh, I'm just ready to ride the water waves and have a great time uh, with that being said I'd like to explore this quote today and it comes from my Japanese heritage and it's actually a Japanese proverb and it says fall seven times and stand up eight and I love that because that's the symbolism of you know seven is that luckiness of being able to just even fall seven times and have that gratefulness and that gratitude that you could even get out there and attempt it seven times and fall right there and then get up eight times right because eight is that infinity symbol that goes on forever and uh we definitely uh definitely always want to support the infinite imagination we all have and i think that's the major supernatural power we all have in ourselves to take it to the whole next level of being so definitely fall seven times and stand up eight um if it takes to fall down 17 times and stand up 18 times just do it and uh, that's part of my story with the funk eye puppets i feel very uh, uh, much in full gratitude and and ride the grace train of just getting on that locomotive that came to me and uh, was a vision that I had uh, of course I get them really late nights early morning and I write them down either in a poem or just uh, documented or sketch something out or uh, start drawing all the funky eye puppets and, and just got it into a reality where uh, it's definitely flowing forward and I just have to let go of all my mental plans right and, and give it all to infinite intelligence and, and know that infinite love and wisdom you know will guide me on my purpose my plan and my position in this world you know and it's always under grace and, and, and it's a miraculous way of looking at things that's why I always remind everyone look at life as a painted poetic symphony and that's pretty much literal you know uh, because uh, poetry for me and, and music has always opened up ways where things that just uh, really bring it in and take it to the next level of existence and beauty and all that's wonderful things 
So definitely fall seven times and stand up eight and, you know, keep repeating that every day. Like, you know, especially those days where it just seems like everything, you know, is falling down on you. You're just falling down. And uh, when you fall down, uh, you can look upward, you know, and look upward. Even if you don't live in California, if you're not near the giant redwood trees, just see a big redwood tree and see yourself down there and know that you're a part of the seeds of this earth and that you can bloom and you can make magic and you can bring it all forward and you can bring it on so just get it so fall down seven times and stand up eight and uh know if you're kind of a strange uh, spirit in this world you're a yokai and a uh, yokai not in the sense of a ghoul a monster or ghost but uh, just a fantastical creative imaginative being that knows that when you fall seven times and you stand up eight it's all gonna work out because that is the language of the perfect way and the perfect faith. Thank you for watching the video and uh, keep creating, keep imagining and keep manifesting everything you desire. Be who you be, unique and original and let's get back trucking on.